The following is rated S for spoilers. When the troubles of the real world have you down, go back to a simpler time and pack up for a digital summer camp where you'll control a gaggle of dumb, fun teens and watch as you get their jugulars torn out by monsters in gruesome, satisfying ways. You know, they really shouldn't let me babysit. The Quarry. Roast a marshmallow over at Hackett's Quarry in a new interactive movie from the folks that brought you until dawn. Because after trying a bunch of weird lower budget stuff, they finally realized what we really wanted. The same old multiple choice gameplay and absolutely getting wrecked for guessing wrong. Cause let's be honest here, a deep narrative is great and all, but sometimes all you really wanna watch is a bunch of teeny boppers getting yeeted by a hell creature. New mauled youths, same great taste. Discover a whole new cast of kids to throw in the meat grinder, played by a handful of actual celebrities, and even more of that guy you're pretty sure you saw in that thing that one time. As the quarry assaults you with more corny quippy dialogue in the first four minutes than an episode of any CW show ever. Ranging from actually funny. Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of theirs. To how do you do, fellow kids, groaners? As you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The Holy Trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. As well as a cast of villains that will make you say yes, I also played Resident Evil 7. You goddamn piece of shit! But all in all, keep up the bargain of Until Dawn by chewing up the scenery like it's made of chocolate. Because say what you will about the writing, at least they're acting the shit out of it. Does this look like... The goddamn Harbinger Motel to you! Which is great, because they definitely needed something to distract you from focusing on everyone's ugly sonic teeth. Ugh. I think I'll just go chill with the werewolf. Unravel the twists and turns of the quarry story, where you'll play as camp counselors that had the unfortunate fate of arriving a day early and staying a day late, which will make you wonder why they would even have a summer camp in the middle of such tight, horrifying deadlines. Then quickly ignore that as you choose between seemingly innocuous decisions early in the game, all to have it come back and bite you in the face six hours later. As you struggle to piece together the repercussions of your upcoming choice from the three word descriptions that they give you and put together clues by slowly walking your character around every room until you find the one thing that you can interact with. Or if you're lucky, find a tarot card you can use to get a completely useless no context preview of a possible future. Also, you won't get yelled at by some old carny lady in between chapters. Look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Then immediately screw everything up and have all your favorite characters get decimated because they tricked you into making a decision you thought was going to do something else entirely. As you slowly watch your meticulous decision making snowball into catastrophe. Kind of like when you make any decision in real life. Maybe I'm being a little bitter, but Brenda's song died, you guys. I'm still very upset. Jacob, eh, he can go though. Experience the part of the quarry where it's actually a video game. Sorta. As the game decides to wake you up every 15 minutes or so by throwing the slowest quick time event at you. Some of which will immediately kill a character if failed. Forcing you to be ready at all times or more likely willing to lose some kids so you can keep browsing Twitter. Then fight back your enemies in the shooting sequences, which are basically just more dressed up quick time events. Or hold your breath until the bad things go away, which plays out identically every single time. That maybe they could have just edited so it wasn't a two hour story with six hours of meandering around like a stone teen. An interactivity that will make you say, man, this could really have been just a movie. So grab some popcorn. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. And get ready to look through the dead Polar Express eyes of some youths for a B-movie of a game with AAA production values that provides the cheesy horror experience you wanted and then some. As long as you're willing to overlook a few technical glitches, a mountain of cringe, and an extremely steep price tag for something that you're maybe going to play twice. But hey, have a little fun today. You can always worry about the rent tomorrow. And this is probably why all my characters died. Starring Modern Fatality, The Sweet Life of Hack and Coldy, Blunder from Down Under, Like and Subscribe, Detective Peek at You, Dead Jockey, Punished, Veronica Mars, Where Kyle, and Grizzly Horrible Deaths. 
by bears. Attacked by bears. Is it a bear? Please, I mean, there's vicious bears. Teen Wolf Summer Camp. Yeah, there's some really gory scenes in here, but nothing makes me more uncomfortable than any time I see them running barefoot on wood. Yeah, I think I'll take the big dog curse over the splinters any day. Thanks. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. You'll be glad you called on me. I'm what they call a firebrand, a rampant stallion, a lion with lightning in his eyes. You're never more alive than when you're about you'll lose your pants, my friend. Monster in my pocket deserves a remake. My body is made of blades. Iron is my blood and glass is my heart. Cowabunga!